Yo, what is going on YouTube? Onyx back with another draft and draft champions. Uh, I literally, the draft I just put up an hour ago, I literally drafted an hour ago and I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I won all four games, uh, made three people, well, made two people quit. Uh, I put up the, the third game, so y'all seen that guy quit. In uh, the championship game, we got disconnected. I don't know what happened. It was actually a close game. I, I was going to record it. I was going to show it to y'all. But in the second quarter, it was like 14 to 10. And uh, he just disconnected. I, I, I have no clue. I don't know. But we got the win. So we're finished with that one. And now we're going to jump into a new one. We're definitely going to jump in and grab Tom Coughlin as our coach. Uh, mainly... All those coaches would have been good choices, but I mainly chose Tom Coughlin because of his uh, his ground pound Mandy styles, and I'm I'm actually a believer in these styles. So I'm a big believer in the man defense style. So uh, I like to I like to try and uh, get Mandy coaches whenever possible, especially since I play a lot of man defense usually. And right here, I don't know if I want Sean Lee or if I want Derek Johnson. Both really good. Both both really, really good linebackers. Really good play rec. Really good tackling. Uh, about the same speed. Both good in coverage. Both can catch. Uh, I think Derek Johnson's got about an inch on Sean Lee. Uh, I don't know. Like, they're very, very similar linebackers. I, I wish they would have gave them to me in different rounds. I would have drafted both of them. Um, I think I'm going to go with the middle linebacker here because I see they got my man Paul Dawson out there at right, so I might just leave Paul Dawson out there as my right outside linebacker. Um, I am not a Brandon Carr fan at all. I don't really like his stats either. His coverages are just bad in general. Tyler Eifert would be cool. I would rather have the team of the week Eifert, especially since they gave me James Hanna. I think that's his name. I know his last name's Hanna, but he's like a 90 speed tight end. So I would definitely work with Hanna if they don't give me a really, really good tight end. Barry Church is just a hitter and he works with my man D style. So we're going to pick him up. Uh, Prince of Mukamar. There's, there's no other choice right here. Ooh, some elites. Ooh, Levante. Ooh, I really... Hmm. So, like I said, I could stick with my man Paul Dawson. Y'all already know what I do with him. But Levante is also really, really nice right there. And uh, he's actually my linebacker on my, my actual team, my ultimate team. Or I could pick my boy Fletcher Cox up. Mm, or Mario. Cause I I want I kind of want to keep Paul Dawson there and Mario is a really good off defensive lineman and he's he's he he has my style and I think I want to get that style up as much as possible to help out some of these cornerbacks with this man D they they have thrown me Johnny Manziel in a bunch of drafts I I'm not sure if I want him though he he was missing some throws last last time he was definitely missing some throws last time I think we're gonna go ahead. Draft another D lineman. We're gonna take uh Haloti right there. Hopefully they give me another QB. Oh you assholes. As I say, hopefully they give me another QB. These bastards throw me 24 hour Julio. I didn't even know 24 hour Julio was like a card you could pull in, in the draft. I'm 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 gonna take Julio. Hopefully they give me another quarterback. Uh, you bastards. Fucking bastards gave me Gave me Aaron Rodgers at the same time as Julio. Uh, Elliott is more of a 3-4 linebacker. So I'm going to go with my man Byron here. Even though in IRL he's getting dusted left and right. But on this game he should be decent. I think I'm going to pick my man Allen Robinson here. Um, Joe Flacco would be a decent pickup. But uh, he's, gonna, he, he's definitely going to miss some throws for me. And I would rather just hold off. Ooh, Carlos Rogers it is. Rogers and Amukamara. Seems like a nice little tandem right there. Um, I think I'm going to stick with James Hanna at tight end. CJ Anderson is not really my kind of running back. So we're going to take Unger. 
he's my style, and he's a really good run blocker. I can't do too much with Robert Mathis unless I put him on the D-line. We're going to take Vernon Davis. He's a good run blocker, plus he's fast. Oh, they give me a quarterback, but it's Cam. I, I can't really do much with Cam. I kind of got receivers already, so I don't need Macklin. I could get him and throw him in the slot. But I don't have a QB. Let me see. Is it just Schaub and Whedon and Colt McCoy? Uh, I think we're going to have to take Cam here. I think we're just going to have to deal with some missed throws. Let's see. Give me a running back. Give me Clinton. Give me Clinton. Uh, oh, and then we take Cam and they give me Randall Cunningham. You, We could have just took Jeremy Macklin. I mean, there's really no other choice. I mean, I could take Shannon Sharp and run two tight ends, two wide receivers all game. I think that's what we're going to have to do here. I mean, I would definitely rather take Randall Cunningham so I could have somebody more accurate to give the ball to Julio, but then that would that would kind of waste a pick. That would waste that Cam Newton pick. So I think I think we're gonna just take Sharp. I wish they would have given me a running back here. I wish they would have given me Clinton Porters here. I mean, even Christian Okoye, I would have I would have worked with. Damn. All right, we're gonna take Shannon. We're gonna run two tight ends, two wide receivers. That's what we're gonna do. I, I'm not I'm not too big of a fan of this draft. Uh, I don't know. I did get Julio, though. I don't have a running back. You can usually work with these silver running backs, though. Bobby Rainey. Bobby Rainey and Ronnie. Yeah, I can, I can definitely work with Ronnie Hellman. Yeah, I can work with both of them. So I'll definitely try and work... I'll do some work with Rainey and Hillman there. And then my biggest downfall is Cam. If I would have took another receiver instead of Cam. Where did they put Vernon Davis? I know I drafted Vernon Davis. He's in the lineup. but Oh, they put him at fullback. Okay, that works. Fullback or tight end number two. That's cool. Because he is a good blocker. He's fast. He definitely will work out at fullback. Uh, instead of Croft, at my third tight end, we're going to put James Hanna. Look at that. Look at that 90 speed tight end. We're going to put Hanna there. We got a lot of speed at tight end. Between Shannon Sharp, Vernon Davis, and, and James Hanna, it's a lot of speed at tight end. And then Allen Robinson and Julio Jones. Seems like it'll be a nice tandem out there on the outside. Allen Robinson has better catching traffic than Julio. That's kind of ridiculous. But uh, I think we're going to jump into this first one. I don't usually like showing the first game because um, one of two things. Either people quit. They either don't like their teams and come straight into the game and just quit right away. Or it's usually a blowout because people just drafted the team, don't know how to use it. And... I don't know. Wow, his team's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I forgot I had flashback Carlos too. I got a pretty decent team out there too. Damn, I didn't move Paul. Uh, he's on the he's on the roster though. I'll just change him in here. I didn't put Paul Dawson as my starting right outside linebacker. You know we gotta get some work in with Mr. Dawson out here. He's got some high overall players, but I wonder if he actually has some some good position players other than John Elway. I mean, I can deal with J.J. Watt. I'm not going to run to that side anyway. My whole offensive line is uh, based on the left side. A left guard, left tackle, center is what I drafted. So I'm basically going to be running at his right end. So I'm not worried about J.J. Watt too much. Um, Joe Thomas, whatever, I drafted a left end. So your left tackle is not going to be going up against Mario Williams. And... John Elway is is for for the best quarterback on the game, especially for well the highest overall quarterback on the game. He's definitely not the best quarterback on the game. I'm just gonna put it that way. 
He's the highest overall and has the best looking stats, but his actual play is just it's it's not there. It's it's really just not there. Like he really just I don't know. He misses way too much. Who is 99? Oh hell no, Anthony Spencer is not gonna be out there. Go ahead and switch and put my man Dawson in right now. See Nada and Mario Williams beside each other. That's that's pretty nice on the D-line. That's pretty nice on the D-line with Derrick Johnson behind him. And your running back, okay, Christian Michael. So he doesn't have a running back, but Christian Michael is a really nice silver back to have back there. Randall Cobb looks like his only receiver. Randall Cobb and Torrey Smith. All right, Byron, let's not get burned. You got to do better than that, bro. I mean, it was a crossing route. I kind of understand, but still, it's Lance Moore. Ah, I got fucking BS blocked. Oh, my God, my strong safety. I didn't get any safeties, did I? Actually, I, I got a free safety. I didn't get a strong safety. Jim Leonard is definitely not going to be my strong safety. I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're five foot eight. I, I can't. So this guy's going to run traps, huh? All right. That's really what you want to do. I mean, you don't really have good receivers, so I can really just key in on your run. Give me that. Oh, come on, Carlos. That coverage was amazing. I might have to pick up flashback Carlos. I mean, he's more of a zone corner, but you're going to play coverage like that. You're going to play man coverage like that. Like, most corners get beat on post routes and man coverage. And he coming up and making tackles. Like, for, this is my first time using flashback Carlos. But I definitely, definitely think I can I can work with him. Um, Byron can play strong safety when I'm in 4-3. Uh, left is going to be Ashley Palmer. I need to remember when this game's over. I need to remember to, to go change that. Get him. Ah. Oh, he dropped it, though. I thought we were going to get there on the blitz. Or not even the blitz, but just on the... I, it was a blitz. I sent my own... I called my own number. Like, I didn't change my guy to a blitz. I just actually blitzed him myself. Just in case he was running the ball. Um, I don't know. I feel like he's going to try and go underneath. You know what? I'm going to anticipate that he's passing. And if he's not, oh well. Ah, I see. He was passing, and I brought the safety down too far. That was my fault. I should have used the zone that I normally use. I should have used that blue zone. We would have had that locked up. If I would have used Burley right here, we would have had that locked up. See, that's what I thought he was going to do. Oh, really? All right, Christian Michael. I know you're good, but damn. You're not going to hand it off again. At least I don't think. He might. I could be wrong. He may hand it off again. It would be stupid if he did, though, because Michael's tired. So, Kill him. You got to make him drop that, Byron. Well, he's definitely passing. I just don't know where yet. Okay. Let the time run out. That's cool. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what he likes it. Like, I hate I hate the beginning of the games because I don't know what people like to do. And these shotgun runs are such trash, but so many people... Like, I'm just running a pass defense...
I'm running a pass based defense, so he's gonna get a couple yards off of him here and there. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. And we're out of there. We're out of there, bruh. Thank you for throwing right at my user. What was that about? I seen that stick route all day. I seen that you, you tried to hit me with the stick route last time, bruh. Like, that seems to be, I figured out that was your go-to route. That's kind of sad that I figured out that was your go-to route. And on your first drive in the first half, that I figured out. That that was your go-to route after you went to it on fourth down. So I had a feeling you'd probably try and go back to it on third down. I just wasn't sure if you were going to throw the slant or actually throw the stick. So I decided to cover the stick. That was it. I just I just I just made a decision. I was going to cover the stick. And hope that my actual cornerbacks, who are actually pretty good. Prince of Mukamara was over there. And hope that Prince could cover the actual slant route good enough. And I was blitzing too, so you had to make a quick decision. And that is not the formation I wanted. You're running four wide. I don't know if he's actually going to. He might run the ball there. One on one, Carlos. One on one, Carlos. Yo, that's an interception. He was not out of bounds. Come on, EA. Carlos was not out of bounds. I don't even want to go challenge it because they probably would just uphold it on some BS. Get killed. He was about to get tripped and then Carlos came and laid him out. I... Uh, New no, bruh. Oh, I ran too far underneath of it with Haloti. I seen it and I ran way too far underneath of it. Like I would run man, but he likes running these man beaters. See, he likes running these underneath crossing routes and drags and stuff like that. And that's all he's really throwing it to, so I'm I'm not gonna even try man right now. Now if he starts throwing up some streaks or something like that, then we can get some man going on. We'll take that. But as long as he's throwing this underneath stuff, we're just gonna sit in this uh this three double buzz, which is so confusing to people because you're not used to my safeties dropping down instead of instead of going uh, back into coverage. Most people aren't used to that, so when it happens, they don't they don't know what to do, and they usually throw right at them, and they and, and, and the safeties usually jump everything. Like all that underneath stuff gets jumped. We're going straight to Julio and Cam being Cam. I, oh my gosh, that was just a normal live pass, and Cam just being trash as usual. You can't even throw a streak to Julio. That's really why I wanted to pick up Randall Cunningham. Oh, under pressure, you throw a nice pass? And Julio just, uh, okay. I mean, if you're going to sit and cover three, there's, there's there's two ways I can kill you. I can just throw streaks up, if, if that's what you want. If you really want to just sit and cover three. Or I can just curl flat you all day. It seems like he wants to sit and cover three. And I have tight ends. So even if you cover that, come on now. You couldn't you couldn't rack that, Shannon. But even if your guy decides to go up and cover the curl in, in the cover three, I have two good tight ends. So uh we can just pass it to one of them. Wide open. Every time. Every time. He's just gonna be wide open every time. I can, I can just. You can sit in that cover three all you want, bro. Hmm. I wonder if he's still in the cover three. Oh, who is this cornerback that knocked it out? Leon Hall. Okay, he's a decent corner. I don't think he should have been able to to stick with this Julio, but. 
That's oh no, I threw it right at him. Oh nice, nice and cam, nice hit. Oh, yo, that was such a horrible turn of events for you. Oh my god, he picked it off and then got blown the fuck up. Oh my gosh, I didn't. I threw it right at him. I didn't even see him there. And then we killed him though. Oh man, I I want to know who hit him. I'm going to have to go back and slow that one down and see who blew him up. Oh, my gosh. And then Cam. Cam with the clutch pickup and run in for a touchdown after we blow your boy up. Bro, what were you doing? What kind of juke? Why would you even do that? Why would you even do that juke? Tory Smith, that, that juke was horrible. Tory, your, your juke move must be ridiculously bad. Let's see if he's still going to be stuck in those drags. I doubt it. I feel like he's going to be trying to go deep now so I can run my I can run my man. As I said. Oh wow, Tory Smith? Really EA? Like this is this is the cheese that we get Tory Smith. Really Tory Smith EA? That's what Tory Smith do. 6 foot Tory Smith, that's what he do. Randall Cobb ain't doing it, though. Not with Carlos Rogers on him. That shit out of here. 5'10", Randall Cobb would have caught that between two people. I would have been pissed. And we're going to run this QB contain. Make sure I tell them he's going over the top. See? Amukamara, you knew he was going... Yo! Lance, come on now. Y'all see what Amukamara just did? He was there, and he just played the ball horribly. Like, he played it horribly. He was there, though. Covering Lance Moore, and he's there. I'm going to back y'all off this time. Oh, Carlos! Carlos with the play. Even even though I picked... Oh, my God. Even though I backed him off, I told them to back off instead of playing press, and Carlos Rogers still jumped it. Yo, I think I'm going to need to fuck with this Carlos Rogers. I definitely think I'm going to need to pick this Carlos Rogers. He just showed me some... He just showed me some things in this game. He just really showed me some things in this game. I think I'm going to need this Carlos Rogers. He just played some real nice man coverage, especially for what he... He's mainly a zone cover corner. I mean, he's a good press corner, though. He is a really good press corner, but he's mainly a zone corner. And he just really showed out this game, even though it's the first game and it's usually the easier game of the bunch. But still, I think I'm going to have to give that Carlos a try. I kind of wrote him off. I think I'm going to have to pick him up, though. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'm Onyx. And I'm out of here.